Hi, I'm Sperry Hutchinson with U-Haul, and I'm going to show you how to put a hitch on this F-150. This hitch is going to allow up to 900 pounds of tongue weight. That's important to know for uh, bike racks and hitch accessories like cargo carriers. It will also tow up to 6,000 pounds gross trailer weight. That is the trailer and everything in the trailer. So let's get started. You will need the tool seam here to complete this installation. Okay, our hitch is going to be a really straightforward installation. We don't even have to remove the spare tire in this case. Plenty of room to work here on the back of our F-150. And the hitch is going to utilize three mounting points on driver and passenger side. So here on the passenger side, you can see we'll use these two existing bumper bolts, top and bottom, that we're going to take loose and slide our hitch brackets onto them. And we're also on both sides going to be using this round hole in the bottom of our rear leaf spring bracket. We'll slide a, a carriage bolt and a carriage plate through those when we get ready to install our hitch. So let's get it going. Okay, I've got a 21 millimeter socket. I'm just gonna loosen these nuts on both sides of the, the truck. So I'll start here on the passenger side before we move to the driver's side. And we don't wanna completely remove this hardware. We wanna keep it just in place so that the bumper is also still going to be in place and doesn't have a chance to come down on us. Loosening the hardware on the driver's side. I've got this hitch ready to lift into place. I, of course, have this handy dandy hitch jack. If you're gonna be working at home, just get a second set of hands to help you with this step. Okay, with our hitch, close to position, I'm gonna just go ahead and remove these two nuts now from my bumper bracket bolts on the driver's side. And I'm gonna slip the hitch in place over these bolts before moving on and doing the same thing on the passenger side. Okay, now we're ready to install our carriage bolts and carriage plates. Individually, they look like this. And we're going to drop them in to our leaf spring uh, bracket here and secure this final hole on our driver's side. And the kit actually comes with a fish wire. If you wanna be able to draw this hardware down through this hole, you can use that. Uh, this Ford actually has really uh, some large access points built into this bracket, so we should be able to do this by hand. And we're going to again install the carriage bolt and plate on the passenger side. Now, note all your other hardware is hand tight, so you, you may just have to move the hitch a little bit as you drop these 
bolts in place. Our kit comes with new conical tooth washers, a new SAE hardware, some nuts here that we're gonna put on. Conical tooth washer always faces up against the hitch flange. And I'm gonna install these both on driver and passenger side. And we're actually gonna go ahead and snug these up because then we'll move on to aligning the bumper and tightening those bolts. Okay, with this hardware secured, we want to go ahead and just stand up and take a look at how our bumper is aligned, make sure if we have to do any movement to it prior to tightening up those four existing nuts, we go ahead and make those adjustments now. Okay, I made a couple quick adjustments just to our bumper based on some visual reference points, the outside edge of our quarter panels, uh, my height left to right relative to my tailgate as well as the lower edges of the quarter panels. I'm satisfied with where it is now, so we're gonna go ahead and just tighten up our bumper nuts here. Okay, with all of our hardware snug, we're going to refer to the torque specifications given in the instructions. I've got a torque wrench here that will click when we reach that value. We'll go ahead and tighten everything down one last time. Okay, with our hitch in place, the F-150 has a cosmetic cover here that would fill and cover the hole for the factory step bumper ball mount. With our two inch receiver tube fitting as nice and snugly as this uh, hitch does, we have a little consideration to make. You can either discard this factory plug, it's not gonna hurt anything, or in this case, we want this cover to remain. We're going to just trim the bottom, uh, noting that we've got to remove a little more than half an inch of material from the bottom of our cover. Okay, with our hitch in place now, we can see some of the important features here. Uh, obviously, a two-inch square receiver tube with this welded reinforcement collar, uh, our plate-style gusset and safety chain or safety cable mounts, really large slotted openings here that's gonna make it really easy to hook up any number of different type of uh, safety uh, chains or cables. Um, and finally, some important measurements to note. The top of our receiver tube, the inside of this receiver tube is 21 inches from the ground. That's gonna help when you're selecting a ball mount with either some drop or rise in it to make sure your trailer is level and also from the larger 5 8 diameter hitch pin to the rear of our bumper is three inches. That's gonna help as you go about selecting different type of accessories, whether it's a bike rack or a cargo carrier that has a vertical component to it. Thanks very much for watching. To learn more about the products seen in this video or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.